I'm still not getting the right rest periods. How many times do we have to raise this? I'm not entirely sure the response is adequate, yet the risk is still present. I reported it, but nothing appears to be getting done. They say they're addressing this, but how long has it been since we reported it? It's dangerous. We just haven't got the time. Time moves on and many of the people working on the railway today are too young to remember the horrors of a disaster like the one I experienced at Labrick Grove. We need to keep reminding each other never to be complacent. As soon as we stop learning from the lessons of the past, that's when there is a greater danger of history repeating itself. So, the point that I'm trying to make is, it doesn't matter what position you hold in the company, or even if you think something that you've seen or are dealing with is fairly insignificant. You're all part of the same machine. You're all cogs that make it work. And if something goes wrong, and it can be tiny, that will have ramifications for the rest of the machine. And when that happens, the whole thing seizes up. And when it seizes up, that's when members of the public like me are affected. And that's when disasters strike. I know it can be daunting. I mean, I found it daunting. After everything that had happened to me, I should have been just concentrating on getting better. But when I discovered what had happened and what had gone wrong within the industry that had caused our crash, I couldn't stand still and let it happen. But that meant then sticking my head above the parapet and I did it. I was just a member of the public. I've got no special training about me. There's nothing exceptional about me. And I was minding my own business. But if I hadn't stuck my head over the parapet with the government, with the rail industry, with the unions, then that train crash would not have been the last disaster we've had, or the last biggest disaster that we've had. There would have been others. And I couldn't, in all consciousness, not say anything and then let other people experience what I'd just been through. That wouldn't have been fair. So yes, I did stick my head above the parapet, but that's what you in the industry have to do. You have to be brave. You're not gonna get your head shot off in public like I did in the media. I always used to say that on that particular day when our train crash happened, nobody had woken up that morning in the industry and said, I know what, I'm going to go into work today and I'm going to cause this to happen. Nobody does that. However, it happened because enough people within the industry had seen something and thought, oh, that's too tiny, I won't bother with that, or had dealt with something and thought, right, that's somebody else's problem. That's why all these factors came together and caused the crash. So I suppose I'm appealing to you, it doesn't matter how small you think it is, report it. Say something to someone. Remember, it's not somebody else's problem, it's yours. <laughs>